And hop in the cab. Yep, sure. Uh, Caesar's Palace, please, sir. Bridge out. Merge down. Ha. Merge with the fishes, see? Lucky. Alright. $20 to make you holla. Thanks, I get paid to do the wild thing. Actually, I kind of doubt that Cappy has ever got paid to do the wild thing. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, dang. Alright, let's go talk to our security lady. We'll probably get something after we talk to her, if you know what I mean. And if you don't know what I mean, oops, clicked the wrong number. If you don't know what I mean, I mean an item to finish other missions. Oh, yeah. Let's go chitty chat with her. Let's go chitty chat with her. There we go. Not titty chat, chitty chat. You cleverly make eye contact with Faith. All right, we thought, oh, this is Faith, right? Pawn was the butthole. Her music is so sad. This feels like something that should be in Walking Dead. It's like I'm getting depressed looking at her. Uh, let's see, Spanish fly. Here, just eat this bottle. Don't you question what's in it. The Spanish fly. What's this? Recreational drugs? She opens the bottle and examines the pills. This looks like the real stuff. She pops one of the pills. Oh, yes. I can feel it working. I feel so warm and tingly inside. So ready. Oh, so anxious. I don't know how much longer I can help myself. This is just what I need to put me in the mood. Thank you. Are you ready? <gasps> I sure am. Job be damned, I need it. And I need it now. I'm going home and giving one of these to my boyfriend. We're going to tear up the sheets. Thanks again. These are great. <laughs> oh, well, there are millions of fish in the sea, Larry. Damn, those are some... Yeah. But she had something special. Live ammo. She had uh, some incredible boots for a security agent. And some... Uh, what are those pants called? Jet from the Dukes of Hazzard. I don't remember. Fuck it. Push this button. This button won't depress. There's a little keyhole nearby, so apparently this button is in locked position. Forget about it, Larry. You'll never get in there. All right, how about this one? You press the button, and the penthouse elevator door slides open. Aha! Progress! Nothing says security like a desk with a neon sign. <laughs> Let's hope there'd be something behind it or something. It's a little red button. All right. Let's just go inside. Oh, it... You travel a short distance up in the elevator, down a hall, into another elevator, and up another flight. Whoa! This is totally wicked! Someday, it's gonna be me living in one of these places. And then, watch out, pedestrians! Larry Laffer has a balcony! <laughs> Law and Order Lost Wages 2. The artist, Justin McMiniman, entitled this piece one percent. He later explained in an interview that the painting expresses his inner torment that only one percent of women have jugs this large. <laughs> wow. Another in the Justin McMiniman series. This one is entitled Blow Me. He describes the painting as a celebration of the jug as a traditional American woodwind instrument. He also likes that a jug reminds him of boobies. Another in the Justin McMiniman line. This one is called Juice Box. He claims it sums up contemporary American culture as unhealthy, mass-produced, and environmentally ignorant. He also likes it because the word Juice Box sounds like lady parts. Hey, uh, Juice Box, that makes it sound gross. This painting is simply entitled Penis. Well, I don't get it. <laughs> The Atari controller looks exactly like a penis. The area rug is plush and warm, and the golden blonde wood of the floor is in superb condition. The only negative aspect is the beating of the old man's hideous heart under the planks. Uh, but hey, every apartment has some downsides. Nice. The wide, extra plush armchair is just the right size for the beast with two backs. No, we're not going to Google that for you. Huh. The sofa matches the chair. Matching furniture is a new thing, Larry. You should look into it. My furniture doesn't match. I don't have much furniture, though. You sit in the armchair briefly. It's a luxurious experience until you stand up and the bottom cushion sticks to you slightly in one spot. Ugh. I'm glad I'm not wearing shorts. 
Nasty. This little side table has an interesting feature. When it gets warmer out, the table expands to seat six. Right now, there's definite shrinkage. The so Oops. I have to use it. You sit on the sofa for a minute, then you stand up. That was a delightful respite from my non-stop adventuring. This door leads out onto a deck. You can see some of the Lost Wages skyline out there. The architecture is clearly neo-modern, reminiscent of Van der Rohe's later work. You have no idea what you're talking about, do you? Not a clue. Damn it. Leave the poor guy's walls alone. His life is hard enough, what with building security not being what it used to be. Go out here first. Or, well, I guess, okay. I suppose there's not, nope, nope, nope. Go over here, open this door. The sliding door is unlocked. Oh, man. Bummer. I spent this whole night looking for a door I can open by sliding a newspaper underneath and poking the key out the other side of the keyhole so that it falls on the newspaper. Every computer game character gets to do that except me. It isn't fair. Oh, well. Let's see the deck. <laughs> it's old trick. Hello. You step out onto the balcony, and an incredible vista greets you. Holy shnikes! You take in the sweeping skyline, the towering eight-floor casino, the brunette in the hot tub at the neighboring penthouse. That is positively the most drop-dead gorgeous woman I have ever seen. <laughs> you can only see Imagine the back of her how head. how beautiful she must be when you're standing within a hundred feet of her. Larry, haven't you learned not to judge someone by looks alone? I can't hear you! La 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 la! These yuccas are well potted. Don't you wish you were? The moon does its best to light the night, powering through the perennial Lost Wages neon glow. It screws up the day-night cycle of every living thing for a hundred miles around. A ledge runs around the perimeter of the deck. The roof deck is spare, but tasteful, which is more than you can say for anything else in this town. A valve sits on the edge of the hot tub. The roof deck is spare, but tasteful. Glass doors lead into this penthouse, just as they did over yonder. A beautiful woman sits in the hot tub, woman. regarding you with a mixture of curiosity and expectation. All right. Hmm. Well, how the hell am I going to get over there? Well, at least he tried, I guess. Give him that much. From way over here. Good luck with that. Hmm. So this is in another building, but I have no idea how to get over there. Alright, there's really nowhere we can go over here. I'm clicking everywhere. It's not letting me go. A ledge runs around the perimeter of the deck. Alright. See if we can talk to her from here. It's hard to be seductive when you're shouting at the top of your lungs. <laughs> I could do it. If anybody could do it, me and Larry can. All right, well, hmm, I'm not sure what to do now. You poke and prod the yucca in hoping an enterprising schlub like you could use. You find nothing. Hmm. Let's go back inside then, I guess. You open the sliding glass door and go back into the penthouse. Okay. I don't know why that needed narration particularly, but... Try going over here again. I don't... Nope, not. This elliptical skylight was especially designed for this penthouse by Georgia O'Keeffe. The architecture is clearly neo modern. You right. have no, not a clue. It's you, Larry. No, all right. Larry. Uh, God damn it, I do that every time. No? Hmm. You go down in the elevator through a hallway, through a set of double doors, up a spiral staircase, and down three more elevators. Hmm. So maybe this lifts it up? Or maybe this goes to her flat? Even though it doesn't seem like it would. You are absolutely amazed at how unexciting the desk feels. That lady went over here. Maybe I can walk over here. It's a little red button. 
this button won't depress. There's a little keyhole nearby, so apparently this button is in locked position. Forget about it, Larry. You'll never get in there. Locked position, eh? We might be a little stuck again. I'm trying to think of anything. The we... diver holds her nose and... Alright, yes, I know. Bad breath. Go to the buffet again? I don't think there'll be anything new there. Come on. Welcome back to Chef Jeff's American Tavern Bar and Grill with the world's small... You've already found... Alright. Let us make with getting out of here. The diver holds her... Yes, I know. Honestly, the main reason I use the best use the breast spray is because those messages get very annoying. Ah. Got helium. Let's check this. This said something about a perfume. Uh, let's see. Do it yourself. Think about how you can make your own perfume with flowers and alcohol. I don't have any flowers. Whale vomit. And gradual secrete civet extracted from the anal glands of a cat. Well, there's a cat outside. There's a whale inside here. So I don't know that. I don't think that's coincidence. Find the height sauce with the apple. Maybe trapping apples is why Snow White never call, takes your calls anymore. All right. Well, I guess I am going to wander about uh, until I figure out what I'm supposed to do now. All right, folks, I am finally back. I did end up cheating after running around for like an hour trying to find what I was supposed to do next. Uh, and it turned out to be kind of cheesy, which that's adventure games. That's how they work. Uh, all right, first, I found this by accident. I don't even know what it's used for yet, but uh, you can actually you go. Softly snitch up. You can steal a flower from that. So let's go inside. We have to go to the elevator. Nothing you. All right, just go. We have to go to the elevator. And I actually tried this. I went to every single floor and looked around to see if there was anything special. Now the second door does have a, a private room, but if you go to the seventh floor, there's a pair of pants there. And I went to every damn floor and I missed that. So that's again, that's why I have a complete love-hate relationship with adventure games because. There's parts that are awesome, and then there's parts that are just tedious as fuck. Because I literally ran around for about an hour trying to find what to do next. There's some discarded clothing in the bushes. It looks like a pair of workman's coveralls. Maybe the West Polynesian dong catcher ate them. All right, let's grab them. You take the coveralls out of the bushes. Okay, let's take a look at these pants. There's a pair of workman's coveralls. Probably one of the casino's maintenance people. You go through the pockets of the coveralls. You're looking for anything useful. Wow, you find some sort, a key of some sort. You put the key in your pocket, finding nothing else in the coveralls, but you toss them anyway. Let the NPCs worry about them, right? All right, let's look at the key. It's a key. There's a small CP stamped in one side. All right, I think that is going to be upstairs because I tried not to look far. I didn't want a lot ruined. I just wanted to start. So I think this might open this button. Oops. Let's find the key. Nothing seems to have any effect on this button. Don't leave. Nothing seems. That doesn't. Okay. So if not that, then I think it's the second floor. There's a private room. And I think the key might open that. The key fits in the lock. You turn the bolt and the door easily opens. See how that works there. Nice. There's also a semi Easter egg I found. You walk through a maze of twisty little passages, all alike, until finally you walk through an archway and into. Holy guacamole! With the humidity at about 150%, your leisure suit immediately wilts sadly. A feeling not wholly unfamiliar to you. <laughs> Au contraire, Pierre. The humidity will make my suit cling to my body and show off my physique. Yikes. The sign is a list of precautions, such as high salt content pool, 
Remove fillings before swimming. The exit sign glows in the slightly misty air, like a Denny's sign in a London fog. This machinery probably maintains the pool's salinity, oxygenation, and other technical stuff that doesn't interest you. The bins look like they contain little dead fish to feed to the aquarium's larger animals for when they turn tricks. Wait, did we say turn? We meant do. Same thing. You open the bin. There's nothing inside but a little fetid fish water in the bottom. How about this one? You open the bin. There's nothing inside but a little fetid... How about this one? You open the bin. There's nothing inside but a little fetid... Alright, at this point I don't trust the game, so I'm checking every single one. See, this locker looks There's different. There's a row of lockers here. Okay, try to open one. You jiggle the nearest locker. It's locked, hence the name. Nice. An incredibly sexy woman, the hotel's mermaid, stands by the edge of the pool. Let's go chat her up. Let's smell her first. We gotta sniff her to make sure she's not uh, dangerous. You get close enough to smell her. She smells so fresh and clean and vibrant and sexy and soft. Oh my god! I think I'm in love with her pheromones. What? Stroke that girl's glistening, wet, firm, tanned body? But you don't even know her. That makes it better. Oh, hello there. She stands there. before you, totally unselfconscious of her near nakedness. That's encouraging. Yes. Who are you? What are you doing here? And how did you get in? This is a restricted area. Me? I've, I've heard that before. I'm Larry. Larry Laffer, I found a key that fits this door. That's kind of what I do. Wow, points for boldness then, Mr. Laffer. Call me Larry. Okay, Larry. I'm Jasmine. They like it when you comment on their chest. Uh, I don't know about that. So Jasmine, tell me, how does one get a gig doing nothing but whaleback riding? Oh, I do much more than that. Riding Mr. Wiggles is just the fun part. I also get to feed him and clean up after him when he gets sick and carefully cleanse his blowhole. Really? That's funny. I've got a... Don't go down that path, Larry. You'll blow it. Ah, uh, I mean, I've got a feeling. A feeling that that's a terrible job. Why don't you quit? What? And <laughs> give up show business? Gee, Jasmine, for a girl who's around fish all day, you sure do smell good. Oh, well, thank you. It is difficult to stay fresh. Your perfume is fantastic. Thanks, Larry. I guess you could say that I'm somewhat of a perfume connoisseur. Larry, a connoisseur is one who understands the details, techniques, and principles of an art, and is competent to act as a critical judge. I actually knew that. <laughs> I kind of doubt that. So... You understand the details, techniques, and principles of perfume, and are competent to act as a critical judge? <laughs> exactly! Gosh, Larry, it's like you know me. Inside and out. Inside? Wow! Just wow! Perfume's my passion. I have, like, literally a thousand perfumes. Some of them are really, really, really expensive. I don't think there's one I don't have. Do you always wear perfume? Oh, yes. A lot of the time, that's all I wear. Oh, my God! Oh, <laughs> my happy, happy God! <laughs> I do love a woman that smells good. I will tell you that. Probably more info than you need, but... Well, then, I guess it's safe to assume you don't need more perfume. Are you kidding? I'm dying for something new. Something fresh. Something original. But at this point, I don't think there's a man on Earth who could come up with that. There's your cue, Larry. But where are you going to find a unique perfume that she's never smelled before? It's great to meet you, Jasmine. I'll be back in a flash with something you're going to love. No need to hurry, Larry. I'm about to go on break, but I really hope I see you later. I bet she does. All right, so this obviously, or at least I think obviously. Yeah, women you just met love it when your zipper gets tangled in their hair. What? They do. You'd need to find out in a more intimate moment if she's even into that sort of thing. 
<laughs> Remember all the trouble you got into at that Martha Stewart book signing? <laughs> what the fuck? 